Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Dress Gaming. I'm your host Richard and today we are back with Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, the Delta episode. This is part two of the Delta episode. Last time we did some errands, we met some crazy peeps, and we are continuing to do errands apparently. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys the party. Um, I know it's been about the same every single time, so I don't know if I'll continue to do this throughout the Delta episode. Uh, but we have Alice the Brainloom level 47, Seed Bomb, Sky Uppercut, Stun Spore, Elite Seed, Bad Mr. Frosty the Glalie at level 54 with Earthquake, Headbutt, Crunch, Freeze, Dry. We have Tim the Armaldo with Earth, uh, level 49 with Earthquake, Cut, Stone Edge, and X Scissor. We have Metagross the Metagross level 50 with Hammer, Arm, Meteor, Mad, Zen, Headbutt, Earthquake. We currently have Kyogre with us just in case we have to surf in here or anything. Hopefully you don't have to use Waterfall, I have to teach a Waterfall too. Um, and then we have Ludwig the Altaria uh, for flying. Because we seem to be having to go a lot of different places in the Delta episode. So that's why it's here. But we are meeting Steven here to get another Meteor Shard. Because apparently the Meteor in my backpack isn't good enough. Um, I don't know where he's going to be at is the thing. What was that? Steven, where are you? Steven, you... Oh. Oh. We might have to teach Kyogre Waterfall. Um, and I might have to spray Repel because I don't want to be running into everything. Everything in its mother. I was about to attack it, but it's like, it's level 16, it's not worth it. Come on, think about it. So, I already ha I have been in Meteor Falls already, just kind of looking around at stuff. So, we shouldn't run into too many trainers, as far as I know. As far as I know. Steven, where the fuck are you, guy? Hey, guy, where are you at? Where they at, though? Steven? Steven? Hello, Steven. Steven. Okay, so we're gonna have to teach Kyogre Waterfall, because apparently Steven's hiding somewhere in here. Which I guess is kind of cool that they have us going here with Steven, because wasn't this where Steven was in uh, Pokemon Emerald? Where you get to rebattle him, or you get to battle him at the end of the game? Like for the final boss or whatever? Oh, God. I'm gonna get rid of Ice Beam. All water, all the time. That's why he's not in our team. He's just, uh, he's just an HM slave. I'm using a legendary as an HM slave, everybody. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? So I don't know which waterfall... Well, I guess they're both the same waterfall, aren't they? Like, one just leads to the other. That's what I think. That's what I think. So let's head up here. Eww. Alright, alrighty. So there's something. That actually might be something I want. Because I know you can get... I'm not dread again. I don't want to dread again. I know you can get Danos in here. That's why I was... Well, I don't even want a Dano. Why did I care? Why do I care? Let's turn on the buzz now. That's what I had on just a little bit ago. Because I forgot I, uh... Because I went to get the Eon ticket. Forgot I had to turn on Street Pass in, uh... In this, so... So I didn't get the Eon ticket yet. But I will sometime this week. I just have to go over to Dungeons End to get it. There's a Lunatone or something, or a Soul Rock. Probably Lunatone. Where in the fuck is Steven? Why wasn't he just like at the entrance, being like, hey, yo, bruh, I got you. I got you. Okay, here he is, finally, Jesus. Richard, we have the Meteorite Shard, and I have come to understand many things as I suspect might happen. Allow me to introduce you. The Honorable Lady you see here before you is a descendant of the ancient Draconids. 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 Oh yes, I am one of the Draconid people. One of the those ancient folk tasked with passing down the knowledge of Mega Evolution with the great lore of Lord Rayquaza, who is the beginning of all. Lord Rayquaza? Really? Since times long ago, Hoenn has repeatedly suffered great disasters. At times, the destruction took the form of a huge meteoroid, which fell upon our land from distant space. At other times, the primal version of our own super-ancient Pokemon brought us to the brink of destruction. Each time, Lord Rayquaza saved us from doom. The chosen lore keepers standing before a stone that shone with rainbow light offered up a wish to the Great One, and Lord Rayquaza's body was suffused with a brilliant light and transformed. 
In its transformed state, Rayquaza's power was more devastating than ever before, overcoming even the super ancient Pokemon with the primal power. Oh uh, yes, a rainbow colored stone, an inviction from the lore keeper, and a Rayquaza unlike ever, any ever seen. I see, it does resemble that we know what the process of Mega Evolution. Yes, it does indeed. A Pokemon, a person, a stone of power, the bond that ties them all together. The transformation of the Pokemon that occurs as a result of this phenomenon was called Mega Evolution by later peoples. So the mechanism for Mega Evolution was discovered as a result of the first meeting between Humanity and Rayquaza? Hmm, but I have one last question. That Lore Keeper you spoke of. The Lore Keeper is the one who has inherited the knowledge and power to summon Lord Rayquaza when disaster imperils this world. The true Lore Keeper is the current generation is the one called Xenia. The disaster that now approaches our planet has it twice before. Xenia has been trying for some time to advert it in her own way. To draw Lord Equaza to our sphere, she joined a certain organization that sought to revive the super ancient Pokemon. She taught them the secrets needed to bring back the, these threats and summon the great dragon itself. And now it seems she travels the land scouring the world for keystones. So it is true. As I suspected, the woman who appeared at the Space Center was one of the Dragonids, but I never dreamed she would be involved in an attempted revival of the Super Ancient Pokemon, in full knowledge of the power they held, fully understanding the terrible changes they would wreck upon our world. Still, she helped bring that situation about. Did she give a thought to the many people in Pokemon whose lives were put in grave risk by her actions? Could she accept the inevitable sacrifice of so many lives in order to protect the planet from the incoming meteoroid? Balance must rule this world. History is doomed to repeat itself. While our people have overcome many disasters in the past, it always through great, great sacrifice. Yet we have continued to struggle to preserve peace for many years as we can. This is how we protect this world upon which we now live. People, Pokemon, all nature, and yes, even you. I do not know exactly what you plan to do, but do you believe that you are not sacrificing anything for your own protection? Xenia will follow her convictions until the very end, even knowing the sacrifices that they all require, even if the sacrificial blade is leveled at her own heart. Is that right? I understand. Thank you for everything. What is this? This vague sense of apprehension and my intuition have often proven true. I'm going back to Rustboro first. I have to get back to Devon. Hmm, so she was judging us for sending out the, what's it called, Try doing what we were going to do, but she was going to do something bad too with Kyogre. <laughs> so she was that girl that kept like spying on us with Matt, I think it was. I think it was. But we got to figure out how the fuck to get out of here. Oh, that's right. I have a, oh, nope, don't save, don't save, don't save. I should have an escape rope. If I recall correctly, I have an escape rope. Uh, yes, I have two. I have to remember to pick up some stuff so that I don't do something dumb. Alright, so... They said Rustboro, which I guess this is... This is how they were planning for us to go through Meteor Falls, but we already did that, of course. So I'm just gonna fly there. But, uh, actually, I was thinking about it. I'm actually really proud of Nintendo for putting this in the game. Or, Game Freak and Nintendo. Because, easily, they could have either made this, uh, downloadable content you had to pay for. Or, they could have, uh, just made Delta Emerald as a game. And essentially just remade these games, uh, adding this storyline within the game. So, I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of you, Nintendo. Oh, wah, 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 wah. What the fuck is that? Wah! What in the hell are you doing, sir? Ouch! Oh, you're that fantastic trainer who helped me before. Oh, yo, geek! Hey, you've got to help me, please! Whoa, you're the kid trainer I met before. You're gonna get in my way again? I thought... I thought Team Aqua was, like, good now. They're, like, buddies with us. Or did they just say they didn't want to do Kyogre anymore, but they're still gonna steal things? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with these blokes. 
Mighty Ina, so you've upgraded. But I've got Alice, the Breloom. Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. Go, Sky Uppercut. Bop. Yeah, you're good and dead, boy. Get out of here. And a Golbat, which we don't want to deal with. Either bad Mr. Oh, Tim. Let's go with Tim, since Tim's lower level right now. I should have dropped off Kyogre, since we currently don't need it. Primal Kyogre, that is. Golbat, huh? Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, stopped it. <laughs> oh. I always grab and move the mic instead of actually muting it for my sneeze. Oh, and we missed our Stone Edge. Even better. Haze. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and haze. Bop. Destruction. Destruction of that Golbat. Alright, Team Grok will grunt. What are you doing here, boy? Girl, I'm just gonna lose you all the time. We switched places. What the hell? What the hell? What's wrong, grunt? What? You again? Fine. Sure, I know I can't win, but I'm going to challenge you for Matt. Or maybe is Matt running Team Aqua now? And Archie's, like, got mutinized for not wanting to take over the world anymore? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with these blokes. Alice, the Breloom. You're not good against this muck, dude. Let's go into the mighty Metagross. I could have went to Armaldo again, just went for some earthquakes, but... What you gonna do? What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside your trunk? I'm gonna get, 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 get you drunk. Alright. Gunk shot. <laughs> you make me laugh. M muck. Eh, earthquake should kill. We're Mega Metagross now. I just, I just don't want to waste time missing Zen Head, but... Let's go. Go, go, Power Rangers! Megazord! Is that what it's called? It's called the Megazord, right? Yeah. The Dragonzord and the Megazord. Or the Dinozord. No. Dinozord sounds like a dinosaur. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's the Megazord. I should name I should name a Metagross Megazord. I don't know. I'll have to look it up first to make sure it's the right name, of course, but. Mock. Mock. Hey, we grow a level from it too, eh? Oh, hey. And Alice does not grow level. Shoot, shoot, dang! Even though I, I, even though I knew I wouldn't win, it's still disappointing. I bet, I bet it's disappointing sucking all the time. Sound the retreat. It's the only good sense to save my own hide for Matt's sake. We keep searching. Is there another? What the hell? I'm so hungry. God, well my stomach's ready for battle. Cause I, it's rumbling, dude. Oh, dude. How many Aqua Grunts are we going to have to kick, kick ass kick ass against? Golbat. Awesome. Just what I needed for Alice the Breloom. Just the best, really. Just the best. Um, Let's go back out to Tim again. Yet again, let's go to Tim. Dimmedale. And Air Slash. We resist that, right? So it's neutral? Yeah. Yeah, nice and neutral. Stone Edge. I was gonna Mega Evolve for a second, but I'm like, wait, I can't Mega Evolve. I'm a stupid Armaldo. Stone Edge. Pap. And there's a dead gold bat for your face. For your face. For your face. And will I switch? Sharpedo switch. Sharpedo switchy do. Let's go on Alice. Alice keeps coming out the wrong time and going in. I don't know. Coming out at the wrong time and then he's out when there's, we need him in. I don't know. It's it's an ordeal. Or she, sorry. It's a seed bomb because I don't want to take a... Oh, poison fang. Awesome. Seed bomb. Pop, pop, pop. There goes Sharpedo. Sharpedo. That Sharpedo... Is there, is there more Aqua Grunts? Because it's starting to get a little annoying. And I don't know how we keep switching around either, which is real weird. Real weird lack. Thank you, you, you helped me again. As my thanks, I'll give you another great... Oh, now it's... 
now is not the time for this. We're in big trouble. t will stole the control device for the link cable that our company has been developing. It's a special tool called the Dimensional Shifter. The person who stole it is a huge man with bulgy muscles. Matt. Matthew. What shall I do? What would you do? What shall I do? They must have ended for the Moss Deep Space Center. Steven must have gone ahead to the Space Center, but I'm worried. Okay, well, we gotta go to the Space Center, I guess. But I'm gonna go drop off, uh... Go drop off, a uh, Kyogre. Because we don't need him. We don't need you anymore, Kyogre. Your time with us is Kyogre. Uh, uh. Alright. Get out of here. So we're gonna swap her back. Um, I could heal you. Yeah, why not? I mean, really, is there a point to not healing them? No. And Metagross, you're good, right? Yeah, you outsped and bopped him, so. And you switched into a gunk shot, so that didn't hurt. Alright, so let's now fly to... No, stop using secret power, you dumb Altaria. Go to... Moss Deep. That's exactly why I brought Altaria with us, because we're going to be flying all over the dang place. Flying all over the dang old place. Me a betcha. Oh, you betcha. Alright, so we're back in Moss Deep. Heading on over to the Space Center. Space Center. Oh, God, what's happening? Oh. Let's go, grunts! It's a bunch of females. What, are you being sexist? Matt, come here. Let me teach you a lesson in humility. In humility! Oh, those ladies aren't there looking at phallic objects anymore. Oh, it's the triplets, so we get to... Or, the quintuplets. So we can, uh... We can do the, uh, horde battle again. So this is only the second time we... There's only been two times we've done the trainer horde battle. I mean, I guess I didn't make a huge deal about it, but people were super excited about it. And this is what we get. A Poochiana battle and a Mighty Ana battle. Breloom. Oh god, we're gonna be intimidated like none other. Yep, two intimidates. Three. Yeah. Yeah, you bet. Four. Oh yeah, you betcha. How about five? Oh yeah, cool, awesome. That was fun. I am glad we are minus five right now. Let's see how much a sky uppercut does after minus five intimidate. Bop. Still enough to knock. Oh, we got a crit. Never mind. It's about to say still enough to knock out a Mightyena. Snarl. Avoid. Assurance. Ow. And what else? Roar. Okay, roar me out after minus five. Thank you. Metagross. Even better. You're all dead. You're all dead. Roar again. Okay, thank you. Never mind. See you later. Bad Mr. Frosty. Okay, we can work with this as well. Because we also have Earthquake. Bad Mr. Frosty. Ah. His upper face is weird. I just want to say that. Because it, it looks like he's just like missing his lip there. Which I guess technically is, but think of that as, like, any other Pokemon. They're just missing their lip just right there, so their teeth are coming through. I don't know. I find it weird. That was real level 48, though, if that counts for anything. Alright, so we can be done with that leg now, because that was leggy as sheets with all them Pokemon out there. Haha, <laughs> we knew we'd lose. I wanted to win his style like the Hone Rangers. It's odd. That strategy. Intimidate five times in a row? So that is on purpose. Should be invincible. Well, if you roar me out twice, did you cheat, Grumble Grumble? In poop, stop whining. Matt is on the second floor. It's pathetic, but we can't stop him. Please, please stop him. Okay. And they're just gonna go chill out. Just go relaxing. You know. You know. Alright, Matt. Your timing is impeccable as always, Richard. Team Aqua. What do you tend to do with that device? Do you realize that this is the last hope we have for saving this planet? What was that? What last hope? <laughs> Whoa! It ain't laugh. It ain't laughing one bit, punk. 
My bro, my bro who I love so much, are you trying to tell me that everything we've done up till now, the ties that bind us, all that was a mistake? My bro has changed since you got mixed up with you. How convenient it must be for you to put all the blame on another- SHUT IT! I- I'm- Know what? That rocket's full of crazy amounts of energy, and even more awesome than the ultimate weapon that ended the war 3,000 years ago, right? Wah wah wah? If I use this keystone I found in Meteor Falls, I can force the energy inside the rocket to explode. It'd be like Mega Evolution for the rocket. Wah! You need- Who needs a meteoroid? I'm gonna bring an end to all things of my own power. The one who could complete Project A-Z-O-T-H. Well, A-Z... Azoth. Hmm. And take the world back to its beginnings is me! Richard, this fool, this incredible fool really intends to do it. If we don't stop this now, our whole world will be embroiled in the destruction. You ready to battle, aren't you? Oh yeah, I guess. Wonderful? Huh, I'm gonna smash you up! Alright, so it seems like Matt is now trying to destroy things because Archie isn't. Okay. That's what it looks like, at least. Mighty in a Sharpedo. Sharpie. Sharpedo. After I've heard people say Sharpedo, I can't say Sharpedo. 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 There we go. There we go. I think I got it. Seed Bomb is Sharpedo. Oh, God, it's Omega. It's Omega Sharpedo. Dear God. Dear God. Sucker Punch. Oh, Crunch. Okay, they doubled up on Steven. That's fine. That's fine. Skarmory can take those hits. Aerial Ace. On the Sharpedo! Damn it, Steven, I've got him. Bop, bop, bop. There. Why don't you go after the Mydena, you dummy? You big dummy? And he led with that. Oh, his... The Grunt has more than he does. Okay. Spikes. Are you kidding me, Steven? Get this Skarmory out of here. Sky Apricot. Bop. What did the Mighty Eden even do last turn? Oh, it attacked the Skarm with a Sucker Punch. That's right. What else do I have? A Muck. Damn it. Damn it. Alright, let's go out into our Metagross. Because, if anything, he's probably going to go for a Poison-type move on our... On our, uh, Braille. Steel Wing, Muck Avoids, Gunk Shot, and it doesn't affect me. Cool. Let's just straight up Earthquake. We should take him out. It should be fine. I'd rather hit that Skarmory for it being so stupid. Okay, it didn't take it out. Steel Wing hopefully should. Now that he actually hits it. There we go. See ya, Muck. Excuse me. Level 49, Breloom. I knew I wouldn't win, but... Hey, now! Oh, the girl said, I knew we wouldn't win, but... But... Well, did he just moonwalk? Dang it, I'm not good enough, bro! Bruh! Richard, now's our chance. Take the dimensional shifter and... What the hell, Wismer? I'm a Wismer. Oh, God, it beat the shit out of him. Esther snatched the dimensional shifter away from Matt. That Pokemon, does it belong to... Nice one, Aster. Like, we wouldn't know who it was. You're the... the Draconoid, yep, or you can just call me Xenia. Ast Aster, Mur. Thank you, dear. Now then, this is, that is an impressive machine. Snap your fingers, the asteroid vanishes, and we'll all live happily ever after. Aha, uh -huh, indeed. It's like that former champ said. This thing is the best hope we have for saving the planet and everything on it. But you know, it could also be the worst tragedy imaginable for some other world and everything on it. Why are you trying to... what are you trying to say? That you're an alien? I'm not take I'm not talking to you. You don't get it. Ugh. But you, Richard, hope for our world tragedy for another. You get it, don't you? <sighs> yeah, I guess. And you come and you come through again. You never disappoint me. My people know it. From generation to generation we pass along the lore about the distortions in the world born by Mega Evolution Mechanism, and about the existence of another world which we have long observed to be just like this one and yet not the same. That's right, a whole region that's almost exactly like this one we live in. Filled with Pokemon and people like us. A world where maybe the evolution of Pokemon took a slightly different path. Where Mega Evolution is unknown. A world where the that war 3,000 years ago never happened. Is that the original Ruby and Sapphire? 
a world where Ultimate Weapon was never even built. And in that, and in that whole world, what would happen one day out of the blue a meteoroid appears? What would happen to the people of that world without the technology to destroy the meteoroid or the power to warp it away? Looks like it's beyond the power of your imagination. So you need to crush the special shifter in her hand. What kind of fool are you? You have no super substantive proof, and yet you claim another world, one uh, just like our own, exists. Out of this fantasy, you you have even destroyed your only hope. What have you done? Farewell, brief hope. You, yeah, what? Do you even know? No. Now what do, what do we do? Calm down, there, professor. It'll be okay. I, we, we can protect this world and the other. What exactly we are your intentions? Who exactly is we and what are your intentions? Oh yeah, silly me, I forgot the other thing I came for. Bap. Xenia snatched the keystone away from Matt. Urgh. And that's the keystone gotten. Now I'll put together with the keystone that they, they've got in their base. Mer. Looks like my next appointment is calling, so I'll excuse myself now. Later. Mer. That that punk! How dare she try and t and take my bro Archie's keystone? Not cool, man. Not cool. Conf confound it all. So she must be making for Team Aqua's hideout next. Think, Stephen. Think what to do. What to do? Oh, well, I'm guessing we go to Team Aqua's hideout. I'm guessing in the next episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, it's getting a little crazy up in here. Uh, still don't know where May's keystone is, if that was Archie's keystone. I don't know. I don't know, everybody. But thank you guys for joining us, and we will see you next time on Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, the Delta episode. Bye!